everybody! Today is Mar. Um, today is May 27, 2011, and it is Friday. You guys all know what that means. It is a weigh-in day. So it's been an awesome week. I will have to say though, since I've decided to go just the 30 days, giving myself one day of good health for every year that I've been on this planet, because um, I'll be 30 this year. Uh, anticipating that day 31, the day that I can finally start eating salads again, these couple of days have been the hardest through this whole journey. You know, the first week was kind of hard, breaking the habits. After I got over seven days, everything was just smooth sailing. It was easy, and then it got easier, easier, easy, 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 super easy for like the third week, and now I'm in the home stretch, and it's it's getting a little harder. I'm also restricting myself down to um, you know, two quarts on average, so that's, you know, keeping me a little bit hungry, but want to burn that fat, so, without further ado, let's see how much weight I lost this week, okay? Hi, right, you guys, I haven't looked either, so we're all finding out together. <laughs> Hold on, let's try that again, let's try that again, because that's just crazy. Oh my gosh, there's no way! I have to try again. Let's just move the scale over a little bit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys, 221.4! 221.4, you guys, that means I lost six pounds this week. Amazing. You know, last week I had a lot of stress. I, you know, I think I could have lost a little bit more last week, but um, I also had, you know, what? It's zoomed in. Huh? It's still zoomed in. Oh. 221.4! Oh my gosh, you guys! 221! That means I lost six pounds this week. Well, I didn't lose them because I know where they went. They went off my body. I have released six more pounds and it was an amazing week um I was high stress last week just super super high stress it was awful and I know that can play a big role also I have reduced the, you know like I said the amount of juice that I'm drinking because I'm just trying to kick it up another notch and I had some stress this week too but I just learned to deal with it a little bit differently and the results paid off the results are in I am so excited because that means I'm almost in the two hundred and teens which means I'm so close after that to being in the 200 like 20 numbers single digits for 200s and then out of 200s oh my gosh oh my gosh maybe in another month or two I'll be under 200 that is just amazing I cannot thank you guys enough the support is amazing and I would I would not I wouldn't be able to do this without all of you there to support me and cheer me on. You guys, I cannot thank you enough, but I plan on having another giveaway, so stay tuned for that. I am just so excited. I may just upload this video and then um, and then do my juices for us today, but today will be green juice, of course, and um, I'm just so excited. So, okay, thank you guys so much for watching my videos, and you'll see me later. Hello you guys. You guys saw my weigh in from this morning and I have lost to date on this juice fast one pound for each day that I've been on it. So that is truly amazing. It, oh my gosh, it is now 1.30 in the afternoon and I'm just now making a juice. I have not had any water or anything else today. I woke up, I weighed in, I went to the kids' school, did a couple of things, got back in bed because it's just one of those days where I just felt like being lazy. And uh, I watched a couple of videos, um, lots of videos, and then I, you know, I rested some more, slept it off, and then uh, now it's 1.30 and I'm ready to start my day. Sometimes it's just nice to have those long mornings, you know, especially when I'm constantly on the go. So, that felt good. Um, I was watching a couple of my own videos, and aside from the weight loss, because I didn't do this whole thing for weight loss, I did this whole thing to grasp my health back to try to break those food addictions to have a new relationship with food the weight loss I already knew was going to happen because obviously the lower uh, calorie intake and stuff like that 
Um, however, there's been a spiritual awakeness as well. And I'll try to do like a whole video to dedicate to that. But it's just amazing. I look at my videos and I'm not the same person. I'm not even, I'm a whole new me. But yeah, it's like, it's my spirit shining out. My spirit self shining out. I look in the mirror and my physical body smiles. And I just feel like that's my spirit self. My spirit self, my real true self is, you know, in manifestation right now. It is coming out. It is who I am when I present. That is my spirit self. And so it's just amazing to just look at my own videos and just be like, wow, wow. To look in the mirror and have myself smiling back at me knowing that I am doing what it is I'm supposed to be doing. So, anyways, enough of my, you know, <laughs> rants. But uh, here's my juice for this morning. Getting a little creative. I've got uh, the other half a bunch of purple kale. About six and a half carrots. Tomato that just needs to be used up. I have got just about a quarter of a yellow pepper needs to be used up. Two cucumbers. Looks like I have six zucchini. A lonely little beet. It's getting a little soft. Just has to be used up. Totally forgot about that. I've got four, I think they're pink lady apples. Either pink lady or gala. A whole lemon. I am going to juice this whole package of celery. And I'll probably juice all the romaine too. So all I have in there for sweetener is the four apples. And then the lemon. Well, and the beet's kind of sweet too. So here are my ingredients for my juice this morning. And I'll show you guys how much I end up with. Hey guys, I am all finished with my juice. And I just wanted to mention I had that pack of romaine. And it was two uh, heads of romaine in there, not three. So it wasn't a complete full pack, so I used two heads of romaine. I ended up with two beautiful quarts and almost a pint of juice. And I hope it tastes as good as it looks. Mmm. Very good. I keep getting fuzzies on my camera. <laughs> um, so yeah. I will drink this now. And it is uh, almost 2 o'clock now. And then I'll be having these two later. Probably have this one around dinner maybe. And then this one shortly after. I don't know. I'll definitely keep you guys posted. But as I said before... At this point, I totally feel like the co-pilot, and I'm just along for the ride. So, <laughs> until later, you guys. Oh, it's so bright. Sorry about the sunglasses, you guys, but it is about 5.30 p.m., and I've got a quart of the juice I made this morning. I'm getting ready to drink that pretty quick. Um, I'm getting a little thirsty. I've had nothing except that almost pint of juice that I had this morning. I haven't had any water or anything like that. There's something wrong with my water filter and I know it's probably better to drink the faucet water than to not drink any water, but hey, I'm going to quench my thirst with this um, quart of juice and my sister just came over, so we're going to chit chat and spend some time with the kids, maybe watch Rio, and then probably in a couple more hours I'll have another quart and then I'll probably be up pretty late. I mean, I slept in really late and uh, do some cleaning. Fridays are usually my cleaning day and I haven't done that yet today. I've been really lazy. Shame on me, but uh, hey, I'm entitled once in a while, right? <laughs> okay, you guys. Well, I wish you all well and uh, again, I'll see you guys later. Hey, you guys. It is now about 10 after 9 p.m. and I'm having my last juice for the night. As you guys saw, I had almost a pint this morning. And then a couple of hours later, I think four or five hours later, I had a quart. And I think that was at like 5.30 or something like that. Anyways, you guys can see from the previous clip. And then now it's 9.10. So about four hours or so afterwards. And I'm definitely getting a little hungry. Um, just finished up making some homemade pizza for the kids. And since my sister's over, she definitely likes my homemade pizza sauce and stuff. So... Definitely wanted to eat it, even though it's cooked. I Today has probably been the hardest day so far. It's the 25th day, and it's just the willpower. I've just had to have a lot of willpower. 
I think it's because it's, you know, it's winding down. I told myself, okay, 30 days, and it's just, it's getting so much closer, and I'm just, the anticipation of eating, but I still have five really long days. So, I have a lot of days left, almost a week, so I really need to figure something out because I've got to get a hold on this willpower. I mean, I'm doing great. It's just a struggle, and it shouldn't have to be at this point. It shouldn't have to be a struggle. So, anyways, tomorrow I'll let you guys know exactly the day I'm going to start eating raw foods, um, solids, and go from there. But even then, the first at least week is going to be very minimal. It's going to be mono meals of fruit. I'll probably start with maybe watermelon, a whole day of just eating watermelon. The next day, maybe apples and oranges all day. Maybe some green smoothies in there. I'm not going to make any real fancy raw food recipes until maybe at least the second week or so. Because you really, breaking the fast is so much more important than the fast itself. It really is. I mean, at this point, I could eat. I feel like I have accomplished what I set out to accomplish. But since I'm really headstrong on the 30 days, there's no reason not to go for it, but just send me your love and, and positive vibes and some good energy and some good encouragement because this is the, the home stretch and it's the hardest part of the whole journey. So I'm going to make it. It's just hopefully I can struggle a little bit less and then it's the weekend and then I still have to prepare food for everybody. So um, you guys see the six pounds, that's motivation enough and, and all the changes in me. Um, is motivation enough to keep going. So maybe I need to watch a couple of my videos and then I'll get my mojo back and everything will be fine. But I'm also limiting myself to the juices. This is not a juice feast. It might have been in the beginning, but this is a juice fast. And so I'm very, I'm trying to be very meticulous and careful of, of winding down on this now. So much love to everybody. Thank you for watching my videos and I will see you all later. Do, do, do.